So I did a video about a year ago if the Delta could charge a Tesla, and it could. So now we'll test, can the Delta Pro charge a Tesla? The original Delta is a 1300 watt hour battery pack with an 1800 watt inverter. And the Delta Pro is a 3600 lithium ion phosphate battery pack with a 3600 watt pure sine wave inverter. So just like the original Delta, the Delta Pro circuit isn't grounded, just like a regular gas generator. So when you plug in the Tesla's UMC, let's use the little 15 amp adapter, it turns green and then you get a flashing red light. No ground, it won't charge. So you take a neutral ground bonding plug which tells the circuit that there is ground and that little red light turns into a green gamma there it is it's now grounded so if I want to plug in the car it should charge without issues Without that plug, it'll just read no ground and kick off. There it goes. 15 amps at 120 volts is around 1400 watts. And that's about one kilowatt. So it'll take a very long, long time to charge the car. But it works. That was the same result with the original Delta. quite possibly the best feature comparing the original Delta to the Delta Pro is the new 30 amp 120 volt TT30 RV outlet rated at 30 amps. You could take this adapter which is a, a 30 amp adapter that works off of the 50 amp Tesla's UMC and uh, that won't go in there but it will go in here And then this will go into here. However, without the bonding plug, same issue. So when the neutral and ground is bonded, it'll no longer read that error and say it's, come on, ready to go. Notice you couldn't see the light I was talking about from the because of the sunlight so there it is that's what the gen 2 tesla umc does when you plug it into a circuit it doesn't like such as a ungrounded circuit and when you add the plug that red flashing light goes away and you get a happy green glow letting you know it's ready to charge so the 15 amp charger can only charge at 12 amps, just like the 30 amp charger can only charge at 24 amps. 80% of the capacity for something that can go for over three hours. Um, so we set it to 24 amps and we plug it in. Now from a 120 volt circuit, it should pull up to 24 amps, which if you math it is around uh, 2800 watts it's jumping up there quick okay, maybe I lied about 2800 oh no I didn't you can hear them fans kick on so now we're pushing 24 amps at 120 volts which is about 3 kilowatts into the Tesla and just for reference it says it'll take about 16 hours for a 50% charge uh, for the car that is we can even turn it up briefly there's 30 amps which takes it right up to the max of 3600 watts
So can you charge a Tesla from the Delta Pro? Yeah, you sure can.